Hi, welcome to the July Streaming Story Spotlight. I'm Beth, an adult services librarian at the Rocky River Public Library. Joining me today is Mary. Hi, Mary. Hi, Beth. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Mary is one of our library associates. She works in our adult services department as well as our outreach department. And she runs our film club uh, discussion. And she actually picked our movie for this month, which we are talking about another round, which won uh, the Academy Award for Best Picture, correct, Mary? It did. Um, I was super excited about this. So we did actually talk about this in our last month at the end of June uh, film club. We did choose this to discuss and it was a, it was a good discussion. Um, people liked it. And I was super excited to see that another round, which this year won Best Picture, like you said, for foreign film, is available on Hoopla. That was, I, I, I was so happy. Is it on Hoopla? It was on Canopy for sure. Did Was it on Hoopla too? You know what, maybe I got it mixed up. Maybe it was Canopy, but I you just know, know that we stream it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so definitely Canopy and quite possibly Hoopla as well. Perfect. Yep. A lot of times they will have licensing that mm -hmm. matches from one platform to the other. Yeah. So, so go ahead, tell us about it. I loved it. I, I, I recommend it to everybody. Everybody that I talk to, I recommend it to. So it is a foreign film, it's in Danish. Um, the main actor is Mads Mikkelsen, which a lot of people know him in other characters. He's been in some, I think he's, he's usually the bad guy. And I believe that he is in, what's that series that he's in? Uh, Hannibal, he's the bad guy in Hannibal. Okay, yeah. yeah. So he is not that guy in this film. He is this just kind of wonderful middle-aged man who's kind of stuck in a slump. And um, he, the film takes place, it's about four friends uh, that all work at a high school together. And they're all kind of suffering from the old midlife crisis. And they decide in how they will come to terms with this is through a, uh, uh, what would you call that? Like a, a drinking challenge type of thing. They're going to do some day drinking <laughs> because one of them had discovered some, some weird thing that uh, the human body needs a small amount of alcohol in it in order for us to be at our, at our maximum capacity socially um, being you know, aware, but relaxed and all that other stuff. So, so that's where it takes off and you can imagine how it might go a little awry. Yeah. It, honestly, the movie kind of made my liver hurt. A yeah. Little bit. Like they really, uh, they took, they take it very literally. Uh, but it, it also offers some honesty as to like what, drinking does to you and it shows kind of how it can affect your life so that was it you know but you know it didn't stop him so but it was a strong I think a strong commentary on not just like that particular society's use of alcohol but kind of like uh, civilization like how different you know every part of our civilization has some type of relationship to alcohol so mm -hmm. it definitely can be something that you can kind of you know see the parallels to american mm -hmm. drinking styles and stuff but it was it was funny it was interesting it was i mean and it was a it was a very strong commentary on el on drinking alcohol and really the director you felt like he was trying to go at it in a way to uh, you know as americans we tend to um, demonize it and talk about how bad it is and that you know whereas i sort of felt like this director was more trying to go this the the route of you know if if dealt in moderation and handled lightly it's actually not a bad thing to have in your life but it the, but the film did then show us the dark side of that as well so i think he was it was he was very fair on all fronts to bring it forward um so it definitely that's why I liked it so much. It's, um, you know, you're definitely gonna wanna talk about it after you see it. Um, and then hang in there till the end, because here's a little note that everybody's talking about. Mads Mikkelsen, again, the main guy, um, he's he is a dancer. Before he became an actor, he was a dancer, like a professional dancer, like in like professional modern dance. I It may have even been ballet, I'm not sure. So do you remember that end scene? Yeah. So you want to hang in there to the end. A lot of people on the internet are talking about his dancing at the end. So, I mean, it was, yeah, quite a 
um, celebration. It really was. And it, it, and it was actually this dance that he does, I felt like was just like a great summation of the film. It was kind of crazy. It was graceful. It was floppy. It was, you know, it, it was great. I, I recommend the film. I loved it. Absolutely. All right. Great choice, Mary. Thank you so much. Uh, and next month so for August, we're actually going to just have a lot of fun and we're not really picking any type of a theme. We're going to watch Donnie Darko. Uh, Mary's never seen it before, so she can see what uh, people have been talking about for years with that one. But check it out. We have it available for streaming on Canopy. And it's definitely available on DVD or Blu-ray at the library. So thank you, Mary, and have a great day. Oh, thanks, Beth. See you soon. All right, see you soon.